You know that feeling where you feel that you're gonna die? That has nothing to do with this brand new episode of Legacy of the Duelist. <laughs> oh man, uh, let's do this one. Uh, apparently I already attempted it. I don't remember attempting to record this and probably good reason I don't remember it. So we're gonna be doing this dude. No fucking surprise there. Uh, Dawn Thousand, deity of the Barians, appeared before Vector. Dawn Thousand, I am... I don't know how to feel about it. I don't, I don't know. Mm. I think it's a good name, but I also think it's a bad name at the same time. <laughs> Whatever. At least the villain uh, looks for these characters are actually good. What in the fuck are you? Well. Alright. I mean. Sure. I'll take it. Why not? I mean you're a weird alien. Al alternate dimensional being. So. I'll take it. Vector still probably looks the best. Out of all the characters. That they uh, have introduced to us. Of these variants. So I'm a fan. Oh, I, I haven't been reading this. It seems we... Uh, Nash and Marin disappeared from the world. Okay, so there's two more we haven't met yet. Okay, there's that. And, uh... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I do remember actually checking out this plot when I first attempted to record this. He's like, we gotta go find the mysterious Metherion numbers. And if we do those, we'll be able to defeat our enemies, which are Astral and Yuma. So we probably have to get them. Yeah, there are seven number cards there. And these somehow are more special because the plot demands so. Fun. Let's go. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going, Nistro? He's... As the dueling superhero Nistromo the Star Voyager, I could give fans a hero to look up to. You're dumb. Your design isn't. Like, these two are perfectly fine. Uh, here, hey, here's this guy. How's it going, man? Oh, man. What's up? He's like, yo, I'm glad that my enemy is okay. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, yo, check it out. Check out this number card I picked up. Oh, what's this? Oh, man, now, now it's gonna brainwash you. You know why? Because, because fuck you, that's why. You're gonna duel now. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's get into it. Well, of course, I get messaged right when I start a video, so let me let me type this up real quick. Alright, there we go. Now that I've attended to that, how about I make a video for you guys? Alright, so he's using the Heroic Challengers. He used Double Lance, which let him bring out another Double Lance from his hand or graveyard defense. Um, so that's fucking bad. <laughs> uh, we have a new card, Gaga -ga Clerk. If you control a Gaga -ga monster other than Clerk, you can use special summon that's from the hand. Uh, so we can do a double. She is a two, though. Can't I uh, that, 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 it's kind of a problem because I just I don't have any way to make her useful yet. Uh, that's at seventeen. What is the optimal play here? Uh, the optimal play is to summon uh, Gaga -ga Caesar. And then special summon Clerk via via her effect. She's a little cutie. And then we're gonna play uh, Gaga -ga Bolt. Destroy the first double lance. We're gonna set this just to see if we can fish out some destruction cards. And then we're gonna kill for a hundred. 
Alright, let's uh, try and make sure that he does not exceed some enemy thing. Uh, the number card that he was given by uh, Alito, I believe his name was, is a really bad card. I'm not a fan of it in any way at all. It is, I think, Lionheart is the name, and it basically has 100 attack points, but it can detach a material so that during its fight on either player's turn, I'm the one that takes the damage from the fight instead of him, so he could fight something I have that has a lot of attack points, and I'm the one that gets hurt. Also, it can't be destroyed by battle. So, super annoying to deal with, and uh, I'm not... I'm, I'm already just, like, not a fan. Uh, what I am a fan of is the fact that I can just nail this. If this card attacks a defense position monster... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's how you took out my... Um, my clerk in short order, as if it mattered. Didn't have much attack to begin with. I'm fucking retarded, and I'm so concerned with trying to make, you know, good commentary. I just fucking denied myself a kill, which then denied myself killing his monster, and then he's gonna get two heroic challengers out, and then he's gonna, and then, then he, can, he can exceed some. Oh, that's ingenious. I see what he's doing. He's using Curry Bolt, which lets him detach materials from his, his Exceed monster to get a bunch of these out so he can Exceed into Lionheart. Once per turn during either player's turn, during either player's turn, when a trap card is activated, you can detach a material from this card to negate it, and if you do destroy it, then this card gains 500 attack. Why didn't he attack me? Oh, dis oh Sh Soul Charge prevents attacking on that turn, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, see, you cannot conduct your battle phase. Uh, well, that's uh, the best news I've heard all day. Because that effectively means he can't do shit to me. Because I can uh, deal with him in quite short order. Let's, uh... Oh, I should have gone for Cowboy, actually. Yeah, I should have done that. What are you, a warrior? Actually, you. Question. Are you a warrior? You are. Fuck it. Exceed shift. Give me... Ah, oh, damn it. They also wanted attribute for that. Yeah, they wanted attribute for that. Yeah, there's no move I had here. I was gonna think about switching him out for cowboy, and then going like that. Uh, not a good idea. Uh, once per turn, you can banish one monster from your graveyard that has a level. The level of all Gaga monsters you currently control become the level of that monster. Cannot be used as a synchro material. So as you know, KZ's the master of misplays. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've misplayed this hard in in a very long time. Oh, good. This. This can't attack unless you have another Gagaga, -ga -ga, which means that I also, because I didn't read that part of the card, uh, I cannot fucking attack the, the Karibos, and then they can just exceed. Oh, oh, oh. But that's not all. He's gonna summon Gandiva. You know what pisses me off? I had the perfect play to put him on the defensive, and I just literally threw it away twice. I didn't destroy the thing that would have stopped him from summoning his first exceed. And I didn't do this. So, I'm... No. No. No, bad taste in my mouth. I don't even want to use this take of this recording, but I will anyway. Listen. It's a good thing this Let's Play is almost over. To comment on the people saying, hey KZ, will you please do the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 duels. I was considering it, to be honest. I was going to pick up all the DLC duels. I picked up one to test it. Uh, they don't include any story content in it at all. You start, you select the duel like we did this one. No story in it. It goes straight to this duel menu. And that's the reason we're not doing it. 
like my interest is like getting the story context and then getting into the duel and then talking about it but if they don't have that content in it then there's no point so that's uh that's why you're not seeing any of that stuff in in this lp it's disappointing that they didn't add any but uh, i guess because the anime is ongoing they didn't have a script that they could copy paste like they do all the ones in here um it's fine eventually they'll probably bring out a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, another Yu-Gi-Oh game that may have a story mode, and if it does Arc V, we can, we can do it then, but, uh, Zexel's gonna be the last one just because it's the last real story mode that they're offering. Alright, so we know about XC Shift, and that's, 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 that's good. That's a lot of back row. Oh my. I can't wait for this Let's Play to end. I cannot wait for this Let's Play to end. Woo! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just I had a moment. The moment has passed. Show that budget. That animation still makes no sense of the sword flipping around like that and then he grabs it. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of fresh ass YouTube memes thinking fucking number 39 Utopia with his thousand degree knife. <laughs> just cutting in this video then suddenly gets a shit ton of views. Ah. Give me the Majashian. Hey, look at that. What was that? That was, uh, oh, Heroic Challenger Extra Sword. Do you have a bunch of back row that can't do anything to attacks? Uh, I really, really was hoping that was what the situation was. Uh, continue to attack? Absolutely. What? What? I attacked it. What? Wait, seriously, what? Oh, oh, pinpoint guards effect. I about, I, <laughs> I felt like my eyeballs were gonna fall out. Like, what the fuck happened? I was like, what's going on? What did I do? Oh God, what did you do? No! It's Gandiva. What does Gandiva do? Besides having 2100 points, once per turn, the level 4 lower monster is some fucking negate attack. Boom. You can't stop that. Um, when a level 4 lower monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, except during the damage step, detach material to destroy that special summoned monster. Oh. Oh, that's that's good. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, I would love Nidwit Outwit to pop here. That'd be great. Let me see. Why do you have thirty-one hundred points? Must be extra sword. Do I have anything that I can pull out of here? Hold on. Hold on. Let me read you. If this card attacks, opponent can activate spell or trust till the end of the phase of this card is Utopia. When this card declares an attack on a face of monster, your opponent controls you can detach material and negate the opponent's face of monster effects. Also, this card gains an attack. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Utopia Ray can just win due to the Utopia effect on top of it. I was trying to remember if there's any way I could like go over him because Victory in normally does not have high enough attack, but he can. He can. I'll just pop the effect when I go into battle. Activate the effect. Um, I mean, sure. Knowing my luck, he's going to kill my monster shortly after this, so might as well do it now. Sword shield. Sword shield. Sword shield. 
sword shield. Sword, 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 sword. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is the end. I have been brought to the brink, the brink of the Please forgive me, I'm uh, a, a good throw up. <gasps> Put a goblin burger in my hand. He'll be my backup. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... What? What? Face up fake seeds on the field. Two or more materials can't be destroyed by card effects. After damage calc, if an exceed monster you controls battles, destroy that opponent's monster. That exceed monster must have two or more materials attached to activate and resolve this effect. Chain another card? Um... Uh, no, I only have one material, thank you. Which means that I'm safe. Oh, it counted you! I hate it when I hate it when I end up having episodes that are gonna be one duel, and I know this is gonna be one. Oh fuck you and your kinkabio. It's gonna go back to your hand after this. It's the stupid fucking spirit monster. Activate the effect of the turn, no. Bye. Oh for fuck's sake, my your deck sucks! I'm sorry. His de Yuma's deck isn't bad, but the fact that they give him shit like three exceed shifts pisses me off because then I just don't draw sh draw I don't draw dick. And then I'm just gonna get hit with 400 point gooby goops for the rest of my life. And then he's gonna f and then it's gonna go back and then I'm gonna get 800 chain notifications because I can use nitwit. And then I just two dead draws in a row. I have a victory combo. All I need to do is draw one level four monster and I can do the next turn and unleash a victory and be in a very good place. But until then, I'm just gonna sit here with a thumb in my anus. Um, th thankfully, the thumb in the anus uh, has ended through the effect of Goblinberg. Hooray! We fucking did it! There, give me Utopia. Because what else am I going to summon in this case? Waboom! It's him. The big guy. The big, big slamajama. What the fuck do you do? When this card is special summoned by the effect of a challenger, you can add thank you. Okay, so you don't do anything good. You don't do anything useful past appearing for the first time. Which is my concern. Alright. Well, surely you can't destroy this again. Also, to point out, uh, the Ex Exceed uh, Tribal Rivals card uh, is extremely good if he manages to get out his uh, rank 1 Exceed Lionheart. Like, if it gets out, I just, I'm not going to win. Everyone? I don't have any more fucks to lose. I don't have any more bricks to shit. I've already made the third Little Piggy's Brick House with the amount of times this game's made me go nuts. Oh, fuck you! You stupid... These are my materials! I earned these! I hear these.
I'm starting to turn into a baby. That's how bad it's gotten. No! It's gonna do the. Oh, fuck you, it's negated, you dumb bitch. She tried to fucking. She tried to blow my monster up. Come on! I can't blow it up. And if I attack, it can just activate as a fucking. I take the damage. Fine, it's a stalemate. <sighs> oh, good, it's Kane Caballo. Oh, what are you doing? I can't find this to be a very realistic duel, Nistro. Lionheart was revealed in the story mode to be one of the legendary Metherion number cards. So, it wouldn't make any sense for... Uh, it wouldn't... making a huge mistake by resuming this video without knowing if this attack will hit I am okay we're we're not back yet fuck I think I'm back am I we are okay good this is the worst duel I've ever experienced in this game um you know there are duels where they're really challenging you get this rewarded feeling out of them this is the worst kind of duel to play it's absolutely fucking awful. Yeah, what's up? I wish you told me you're taking these guys on. Just give me the word and I'll help you out. No thanks. Never let you abandon your dream. That and the fact that you were completely useless in this fight. We were forced to duel you. You know. Maybe you should keep this number. There. Um. That's the only duel for this episode. Allow me to explain why. This motherfucker... <laughs> Anytime I exceed summon something, he would play a spell card that would attach to my exceed and would destroy it at the end of my turn. He would summon something better than it. He would use normal heroic combos. If I would attack, he would negate the attack in about three or four different ways or summon things from the graveyard in three or four different ways. If I get a good exceed out, he'd use Curry Bolt, which would then detach all of my materials get a bunch of monsters out, and then get Lionheart, which by the way, I would never draw a Gagaga Volt, or I would have used them by the time Lionheart came out. This is the worst duel I've ever experienced in this game, because it's just this horrific combination of denial, of stall, but his stall isn't that long. His stall is just long enough to, to, to ruin your life. Uh, it took like eight or nine attempts of that duel to win. And I want to die. So next time we will do a better duel. Take a break from Yuma for an entire one duel. <laughs> God, fuck.